name is Zach Rondo and I'm a fourth grade teacher at Costello Elementary in Troy School District. I'm just finishing up my sixth year of teaching. I graduated my undergrad from CMU in 2013 and I completed my Master's of Ed Tech through CMU in 2016. Uh, this year has been a very special year for me. In February I was named Troy School District Elementary Teacher of the Year. And then in March, I was named the Oakland County Elementary Teacher of the Year. Being fourth grade, I teach all subject areas. I do a lot of project-based learning, so at any given point in time, you can come in and see a different project going on in a different subject area. So for example, last week, you would have seen students on their iPads um, creating an app prototype with an app called Keynote, and they developed an app that they believed would be a solution to a world problem. Um, a big shift for me has been getting kids to create with using the technology. So whether they're creating an app prototype, like I mentioned, whether we're creating a podcast, or whether they're creating their own slideshow, or they're creating a movie, one project we did at the beginning of the year was to create their own Pure Michigan commercials. So instead of just studying one area in Michigan, they actually had to create a campaign about that area and create a commercial to demonstrate their learning, um, which to me is much more powerful than just sitting and getting information. So technology allows us to do a lot of things in education that were not possible even when I was in fourth grade. It used to be that the teacher had to be the expert about everything in the classroom. Well now with technology, the teacher doesn't have to be the expert. So for example, we did an Entrepreneur Day unit at the end of last year. We got a couple entrepreneurs, um, an ed tech company called, called Flipgrid, Skyped in with us, and they were able to teach about the entrepreneurship process. Um, another example is when studying Native Americans. There's free Skype virtual field trips to a Native American museum where we had a personal tour guide who was standing there on Skype with his phone in front of us, um, walked us through the museum, answered our questions, showed us the exhibits. You know, we're truly teaching like the YouTube generation. Like these kids go home, they're watching videos on YouTube or when you ask kids at the beginning of the year, what do you want to be when you grow up? Kids are always answering that they want to be a YouTuber. Well, you kind of have to harness it and um, let the kids run with it. So one example of this is my students started a podcast this year. It's called the Fourth Grade Innovators Podcast. And our mission is we aim to inspire and motivate people around the world. So, so far we've made episodes on the growth mindset, the power of positivity, mindfulness, goal setting for the new year. We're working on a new episode right now about coding and app development. What drives the whole process is that their voice is getting heard and they're making an impact. So we have listeners from Africa, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, a few countries in Europe, all over North America. We have like 27 of the 50 states. CMU is big enough where you make so many different connections. There's so many different people, so many different faculty to help you. But it's also not too big. They don't know you exist. You know, I felt like at CMU I was able to make relationships with professors, both in undergrad and graduate, that really help make the learning personal. And I think as a teacher, like that's what I aim to do, is make personal connections with students. And to me, I was thinking that I was gonna join and learn all these new apps, all these new things that I could do with technology. But what I ended up learning was that it's more than just about the app. It's about the mindset and using technology. And it's about getting kids to create instead of consume. It's about how do we get kids to have deep learning experiences instead of just having our students sit on an iPad and read an ebook instead of a regular book, or instead of just typing their papers or, as opposed to handwriting. But what we do know is that students who can think critically, students that can collaborate with others, students that can think on their feet and be adaptive, students that can have a positive attitude and a growth mindset, those things are what's going to make our students successful. 